Good morning. Good morning. If you can't hear me, raise your hand if you can hear me fine. That's good. I'm glad for that. Uh, my voice is always very strong. Um, it's nice to be outside. Yes. And uh, you see a few new faces that haven't been here are, are inside during the COVID crisis. So it's good that you're here with us today. Uh, we'll begin with the uh, opening hymn, Jesus' Name of Wondrous Love. Around those who fear him and delivers them. 
Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Have the gates of death been revealed to you? 
or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the expanse of the earth? Declare, if you know all this, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The epistle lesson is from Romans chapter 10. Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how are they to call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, the Lord, Lord who has believed what, what he has heard from us, so faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stand for the Alleluia. disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went on, on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him, they, they said, It is a ghost, and they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come out to you on the water. And he said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, and walked on the water, and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to thee, O Christ. Christ. I believe in God, God the Father God Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The text for today is found in the book of to the Romans, the letter to the Romans, where St. Paul writes that the person who does the commandments shall be saved. And later, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And then the last verses 12 and 13, where there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This is the word of the Lord. It's not too often that we come across something that says everyone. Everyone in the terms of nobody is excluded. Everyone is invited. It's a wedding. You're invited as well as everybody else, whether you're a stranger or a friend, an enemy or an ally, all of you are invited, everyone is invited. That's the word that was given by Jesus when he was calling people to the, the wedding feast. Everyone come, none will be excluded. But yet at the same time, at that same time, there was somebody who came to the feast dressed in rags, not dressed as it is appropriate for our wedding. And the master of the feast went to him and said, friend, paraphrasing here. Why are you dressed like that? You don't belong here. You're not ready. You're not prepared. And so he was kicked out of the wedding feast. Everyone is invited. A few are chosen. There's two ways in which we are able to receive eternal life. And those two ways are illustrated in the, the text for today. The first is that person who does the commandments, fulfilling all the commandments, doing what is required, obeying God in every stretch of the imagination, loving neighbor as self, praying for enemies, giving clothes to those who are without, homes to those who are homeless, visiting those who are in prison, taking care of the sick and the dying, doing all those things for the neighbor freely and willingly without any complaint, loving God with heart, mind, soul, and strength, holding nothing back from Him, nothing hidden that is not revealed to God. And so we can technically be saved by doing the works of the law. Nobody is able to do that, except Jesus, of course. That's why He's our Savior and Lord. But other than Christ, nobody is able to keep the word of the law perfectly in every way that was instructed to us. The person who does the commandments shall live by them, shall be saved. But that leaves all of us out. Nobody is called to salvation in that way. But later, Paul gives us this information, something that's very familiar to you. Confess with your heart that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The confession from the mouth that Jesus is Lord is an early baptismal statement. Jesus Christ is Lord is the earliest confession that the Christian church has. And if you confess in that way that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Eternal life is yours. And then further, there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. You call maybe from last Sunday's sermon that uh, the lesson from Paul was that the Jews are not necessarily going to receive eternal life. 
that the promise that was given to Israel was abdicated by the Jewish people when they rejected Jesus. It's not a new story. That's the story of the Old Testament. God gave promises. God gave provision. And rather than trusting what God provided, they turned away from him, went their own way, abandoned his laws, rejected his promises, and did what the aliens among them, the strangers and foreigners from God, would have them to do. But God in his mercy called a new Israel together, the Israel that is called the Christian Church, the communion of saints, the the place where the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed, acknowledged, and celebrated. It appears that the Jews are without hope, without the promise, without Jesus. But the reality is all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, Jew, Greek, slave, free, male, female, rich, poor, black, white, you name it, they're entitled. Not because of what is in them, or not because of what is in us, but rather because of what is in God the Father. A heart of love, a word of grace, a promise of eternal rest, the promise that we who are in Him, that is in Christ Jesus, have the promise and the assurance of eternal life. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek and all the other people and positions that I named. The same Lord is Lord of all. He is the Lord who brings from death to life, from sin to grace, from everlasting death to everlasting life. Amen. And may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in that faith the life everlasting. Amen. Missionaries, 
in all church work vocations. Bless church planters and younger congregations that they may endure. Bring hope and revival to all struggling congregations and to the pastors who serve them. And do not fear, and do not let us fear uh, keep us from your word and sacraments. Be with this congregation as they seek a pastor. Uh, bless them, Lord, in their endeavor that one might be called to serve. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O Lord, our God, we ask you to bless us, our nation, and those who lead us. Guide all elected and appointed civil servants in their judgments, that we may know justice in our land and peace among the nations. Make us especially mindful of those who need our special protection, the unborn, the aged, and the oppressed. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Amen. prayers. O Lord, our God, we pray for your blessing upon the schools where your children learn, especially for the schools, universities, and seminaries of our church. Give your blessing to all places where your people gather to teach and to learn your word. Help us to remember that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. O Lord, our God, we remember the sick and those who suffer, those troubled in mind and grieving in the dying. Deliver them according to your will and grant them the comfort of your word in their afflictions that they may depend upon your mercy in every circumstance. Hear us, Lord, especially as we pray for Chris and David, Neil, Carol, Roberta, John, Michelle, Martin, Courtney, Dwayne, Steve, Todd, Chris, Cindy, Bonnie, Kay, and Tim. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. O oh Lord our God, we give thanks for the saints of old who trusted in you in life and now rest in, from Christ in their labors. Deliver us from all evil, lead us through, your, through all temptation, so that at last we may join them in the marriage supper of the Lamb in your kingdom without end. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh Lord our God, we pray you to be on the light and darkness, our strength and weakness, our courage in fear and our peace in distress. Speak to us by the voice of your word that we may call upon you in day of, the day of trouble and confess your saving name before all your people. Hear us on behalf of ourselves and those for whom we have prayed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray as the Lord taught us our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Merciful God, we humbly implore you to cast the bright beams of your light upon your church, that we, being instructed by the doctrine of the blessed apostles, may walk in the light of your truth, and finally attain to the light of everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Blessed be the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.